One of the uh, first ministries that uh, Barnabas Group had the pleasure of working with a long time ago is Free Wheelchair. And it's been fun to watch what God's done through them and the, the impact they've had. I mean, how many people, were, they've given over a million wheelchairs away. They did that last year. So that you can, I mean, they're on a, a heck of a run. So uh, they have a new executive director and we get to hear from Nuka Solomon tonight about what's going on at Free Wheelchair. Come on up, Nuka. Thanks, Jim. Very nice of you to make such a great introduction. And we are really grateful um, for your faithful support throughout the years. Um, we often say in the office that um, Barnabas really planted the seeds for what Free Wheelchair Mission is today. And that in large part is to many of you here, so thank you. My name is Nuka Solomon, and yes, I'm the Executive Director of Free Wheelchair Mission. Our mission is really to provide the gift of mobility to those that are living or suffering really from a disability in developing nations. And we do that as motivated by Jesus Christ. We give wheelchairs to people that really would not get them otherwise. We give them brand new wheelchairs and we give them a message of God's everlasting love when we give them those wheelchairs. Is this my clicker, Jim? Okay, hopefully it can use that. Great. Okay. So while Free Wheelchair Mission was founded in 2001 by our founder, Don Schorndorf, for many of you may know Don, uh, the story really began back in 1977 when Don and his wife Lori visited Morocco and they encountered a woman, much like the one on the screen here, who was, um, you know, not able to walk. And she suffered from a disability that basically without the wheelchair that she needed, um, caused her to have to drag herself along the ground and use her fingertips truly um, to get traction. Don, um, as he says, tried to get that sad image out of his mind, but the God that we serve, as we all know, has his own plans, and uh, he had other plans for Don, and the plan was that Don was going to help that woman and other many, many other women like her to um, be lifted up off the ground. And Free Wheelchair Mission really started because of that calling. And as we say, we live as God's hands and feet um, and trying to live, lift many people off of the ground. Those that are suffering from a disability are often marginalized, um, they're ignored, uh, they're abandoned by their families at times, and unfortunately, Many of them feel that they've been cursed, um, especially those that don't know the Lord. God called Don to help those people. And I feel like, I was just telling my friends at the table here, I feel like I was called to come for to Free Wheelchair Mission to serve an organization that's helping countries like where my family's from in Haiti. The Lord calls all of us to help others, to provide for their needs. And when we give a wheelchair, we're really doing that. Um, especially when we're giving them a message of hope, we're renewing their dignity, where they're really able to see firsthand God's work in their life. And since Free Wheelchair Mission has been around in 2001, we've distributed over a million wheelchairs, which is exciting. And tonight I'm going to show you a very brief, brief video clip of our millionth wheelchair distribution. Uh, goes in like, yeah, exactly. Um, no, the other side. So into the, the square first. And this is a milestone that's not only just a millionth chair, it's, it's a million lives that have been changed. The young lady that's going to get this wheelchair, her name is Floor, and translated in English is Flower. She received a vaccine as an infant that caused a reaction, and the family didn't have money to take her to a hospital. She had meningitis, she was very sick. The meningitis affected her neurological um, uh, abilities. We heard that her mother, um, who was a very short lady, and the picture we have of her carrying Flora's, Flora's feet are almost dragging on the ground. And she's going to continue to grow, and her mother's not going to get any taller. So 
at some point there's, there's not going to be a lot of carrying going on and that'll be pretty much the end of Flora's mobility. The one millionth chair room. This is not the end of a of goal, this is the beginning of the next goal for us. So, so maybe tonight we rest. Mientras que nosotros esta noche vamos a descansar. But tomorrow we wake up with even more energy with this team of ours and our friends and supporters from the United States. <laughs> and now you can go places. Ahora puedes ir a diferentes lugares. It was, it's a dream that Don had, um, of course, not one million in Peru, uh, but a million wheelchairs, a million lives changed, a million families that no longer have to carry their family member, a million people that are no longer in the dirt. So you can go to school. Yeah. Yeah. Continue your education. Ahora puedes estudiar en colegio. I love that part where she starts chuckling. That's everything. Um, so Flora received our millionth wheelchair, but her story isn't unique. Um, as a mother of two sons, you know, I think about how if I were in Flora's mother's situation, I would do everything to put my children on my back if I had to. But you know, for how long would I really be able to do that, especially as short as I am and as big as my boys are now? Um, you know, at some point, that would not be sustainable, and I'd be facing the devastating reality that they would end up on the ground. Um, so that's what we're trying to avoid, because a wheelchair really impacts not just the recipient, but their family. And we are blessed to be able to say that Flora and her family got a wheelchair. And really, the problem is big. Um, there are 70 million people in the world that need a wheelchair. And our vision is really to get to the next million by 2025 that we can distribute. And that's a big God goal because we did the first million in 17 years. So we're trying to do the next million in half the time. And so we need your help. Um, and we have two big hurdles we're trying to climb. One is brand awareness and the other is financial resources. Where there are about, um, I would say, less than 1% of people in Southern California that even know about us. I know a lot of you know about us, but there's only less than 1%, and we need to spread the word, and we need your help to do that. Um, and when you look at across the state or across the country, that percentage drops. So one of the big things that we're trying to do is to um, have a national campaign, and the national campaign is really circling around that a portion of that documentary you saw tonight, but a larger documentary that is um, has been done for us by PBS, and we'd love it if you could help us by hosting a documentary for us, screening, and we've been having them all over the country. 
Um, we've had some success, but we actually need some help. We need an expansion of our network to get more people to do, that, to do those. So if you'd be willing to do that, please fill out your form. Um, we're also trying to introduce free will transmission to more companies. We've had a lot of strong relationships from individual contributors and churches, but um, we found that there's some opportunities there with companies, particularly those with Christian leaders like you all, um, who are willing to introduce this ministry to their employees. So we would love to sit down with executives like you or professionals that would be willing to give us advice on how to do that well. Um, and... This is our corporate social responsibility brochure. If any of you are interested in looking at it, and if you didn't get one earlier, we could, we're happy to show you the list of offerings that we have there. Finally, I'm going to close with this quote from Helen Keller. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. And that's really about partnership and how we all started with you, Barnabas, a partnership. We have partners that give out our wheelchairs around the world, but partnerships here locally and across the nation is where we're really going to make our mark. Thank you. All right, let's pray for a free wheelchair. Father, we just thank you so much when we uh, hear that a million people now have the gift of mobility. They're not crawling, but yet we're sad when we hear 70 million people still need a wheelchair. They need to hear about you too, Lord, and it's a, um, a gift that we know Free Wheelchair wants to tell them about you as they give them that gift of mobility. So we thank you for letting us participate, but we really pray, Lord, that uh, uh, somehow we can participate even more, that more people would not only uh, have a wheelchair, but they would hear who you are. And so we just thank you for that. And if there's ways that we can get involved, Lord, we pray that you would uh, tug on our hearts and show us that, what that would be. We pray this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Take a second, fill out that feedback form for a free wheelchair, and uh, you can tear it out if you'd like. It's on page 31, and uh, we'll give you a couple of seconds to fill that out.